Hi, welcome to Bio Passionate. In this video, we're gonna discuss about gametogenesis. Before that, if you're not yet subscribed to your channel, please subscribe and press bell icon to get notified. Gametogenesis is the process of formation of haploid gametes such as sperms and ova in the gonads. Gametogenesis are of two types spermatogenesis and oogenesis. Spermatogenesis occurs inside the testicles of male and oogenesis occurs inside the ovaries of female. Now let's study one by one. Spermatogenesis. The name itself indicates spermatom means sperm cells and genesis means formation. Spermatogenesis is the formation of haploid sperms from diploid spermatogonia. Spermatogenesis occurs inside the testes in male. Sperms are male gametes which are microscopic and motile. Spermatogenesis consists of four phases, namely multiplication phase, growth phase, maturation phase and differentiation phase. All the phases of spermatogenesis occur inside the seminiferous tubules of testes. The very first phase of spermatogenesis is the multiplication phase. During multiplication phase, the male germ cells, which are diploid spermatogonia, present on the inside wall of the seminiferous tubules, multiply by mitotic division and increase in number. During growth phase, spermatogonia grow and increase in size and form primary spermatocyte. Each spermatogonium is diploid and contain 46 chromosomes. During maturation phase, primary spermatocyte periodically undergo meiosis. A primary spermatocyte completes the first meiotic division leading to formation of two equal haploid cells called secondary spermatocytes. Secondary spermatocytes have only 23 chromosomes. The secondary spermatocytes undergo second meiotic division to produce four equal haploid spermatids. During differentiation phase, spermatids are transformed into spermatozoa. After spermiogenesis, sperm's head become embedded in the Sertoli cells and finally released from the seminiferous tubules by the process called spermiation. Now, for better understanding, take a look over the schematic representation of spermatogenesis. A diploid spermatogonium undergo mitosis differentiation to produce primary spermatocytes. These primary spermatocytes undergo first meiotic division, produce secondary spermatocytes. Secondary spermatocyte completes second meiotic division and forms spermatids, which are haploid. Spermatids are differentiated into spermatozoa by the process called spermiogenesis. Oogenesis It's a process of formation of a mature haploid female gamete from diploid ogonium. It occurs in the ovaries. Before jump into the concept, let's go through the section of an ovary.
zoogenesis consists of three major phases namely multiplication phase growth phase maturation phase multiplication phase during the embryonic development stage a couple of million gamete mother cells are formed within each fetal ovary no more ogonia are formed and added after birth these ogonial cells start division and enter prophase 1 of meiotic division and they get temporarily arrested at this stage and are called primary oocytes growth phase during growth phase each primary oocyte gets surrounded by a layer of granulosa cells This structure is called primary follicle. At the time of puberty, only 60 to 80,000 primary follicles are left in each ovary because a large number of follicles degenerate during the phase from birth to puberty. The primary follicles get surrounded by more layers of granulosa cells and a new theca and called secondary follicles. During maturation phase the secondary follicle soon transforms into a tertiary follicle The primary oocyte within the tertiary follicle grows in size and completes its first meiotic division to form a large haploid secondary oocyte along with a tiny first polar body Here is a microscopic view of graphene follicle with the secondary oocyte and the cavity called antrum finally the graphene follicle ruptures to release the secondary oocyte from the ovary by the process called ovulation a mature ovum consists a haploid nucleus with cytoplasm surrounded by plasma membrane zona pellucida and corona radiata for better understanding What is schematic representation of oogenesis? A diploid oogonium undergoes mitosis differentiation to form primary oocyte. Primary oocyte completes a first meiotic division before ovulation and produces secondary oocyte. Soon after, secondary oocyte transformed into a mature ootid or ovum. which is haploid